Monday morning. Door was all left open, lights on outside. I don't know why they had the lights on when the sun is shining, like you don't need the porch light on. Yeah, anyways. I'm drinking horchata today. Hot. I had it cold the other day. Oh gosh. Amaze balls. Is my cup big enough? Look at my head. <laughs> I love the little saying on it. it says all I need is coffee and mascara. See? It's huge too. I got this at Walmart. Anyways, I am enjoying my cup of that. Um, I just made it. I followed the directions on the back of the package. I just put uh, water in my coffee pot, took out the little filter thing, ran the water. Um, so it came out hot water, poured it in my cup, poured the packet, and then just put Cool Whip on top, which is probably not the healthiest, but that's what I'm doing. It tastes really good, too. Like, really, really good. So, anyways, Riley is still asleep, so that's good. I'm going to try to finish editing um, a video that I filmed over this weekend on the computer and then I'm going to try to get my workout on because I've been looking forward to it like all weekend so I'm starting with my schedule on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I'm going to work out my like legs and booty and then on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday which Saturday will kind of be a little bit flexible but I plan to work out like my abs and my arms and back you know the upper half Saturday will be a little bit more flexible, though, because the twins asked um, just last night if we could, like, do another workout on Saturday, and I was like, sure, why not? They they really enjoyed it, so it was more like a contest. It wasn't really, like, working out. We were supposed to, like, work out together, and then it kind of sort of turned into, like, I was their teacher, their fitness coach, which was okay, but I watched the video back, and I was like, what were they doing? Like, on some of the moves, they were just, like, just literally flopping around but if they had a blast and they thought it was fun you know that's all that matters it was just kind of turned into like a competition it was like yeah I can lift this no you can't lift this so I thought it was really fun though they did too so anyways but starting my Monday off just a tiny bit rocky Preston tried to pack I know he's gonna like one day he's gonna look back at these and be like why are you telling my business he tried to pack just chips, crackers, gummies, and a treat and a juice for lunch. And I said, you have to have some food. You have to have like a sandwich or like a cheese roll up or, you know, some kind of actual food. You can't just eat, you know, chips and expect that to be your lunch. Like, who does that? Really, who does it? So it didn't start off exactly, you know, the greatest. But I'm trying to kind of forget that and focus on having a positive day, a good day. And we will. Positive thoughts, positive vibes, finish my coffee, finish my work, get in a good workout, and that'll set the tone for the rest of the day. We hope, anyways. Mm. When you're working out and you always have somebody watching you. Not one, but two. She's napping over there in the little plant bed. Well, hello, Wesson. Hi, kitty. They always sit here and watch me work out. I like to open the door to let in the natural light because for one, it just makes me feel better. And for two, my living room's so dark. And I was over here doing my little toe touches and everything. And there he was, just watching me. Are you my workout buddy this morning? Mom. Huh? I guess so. Oh, look, she's finally awake. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. Yes. Oh, she's like, forget it. Nothing interesting. She was hunting a hummingbird. Oh, I'm glad she didn't kill the hummingbird though, but anyways, I'm trying to finish this workout if this cat will stop staring at me. Just makes it kind of weird, especially when you're doing squats. Oh, just to have somebody glaring at you. Workout is done, and now it's time to wash my flyers. For one, because sweating. For two, you don't need to leave that on there. For three, it needs to be washed because I've been getting in the habit of washing it in the morning. So um, I'm actually trying a little bit until I can find something that works um, of this leftover uh, proactive solution that I have on my little, uh, what's this, like an Olay. Um, cleansing brush whatever anyway so i'm just gonna cleanse my face with that today until i can find something because 
you know, I was talking to you guys the other day, and I know you guys are tired of hearing about this, but the reason, one of the reasons that I talk about it is so you know if you're struggling with this that you're not alone. Um, I go through it, you know, I get tired of seeing these girls that make themselves look flawless and they're not and they never talk about it and then it gives us normal gals kind of like, I don't know, bad feelings about ourselves. That's one of the reasons that I talk about the things that I do or I show you the things or I show you that, you know, I don't follow through with things, you know, I mean, I try to be as real as possible. You know, you either like it or you don't. I mean, it's kind of the way it is. But, uh, anyways, um, what was I saying? I was saying something. I was going to get that, uh, that Cetaphil that I was talking to you guys about. And then I started, like, looking online and stuff. And I found a couple other, like, things that are interesting. And I, I thank you guys for, um, all your suggestions, Paula's Choice, um, tea tree oil, etc. Um, but anyways, last night at church, I was talking to a gal and she, she was talking to me and everything. We were talking about it because, you know, kind of what you do when you're, Sitting there, you know, in your downtown. Anyways, she said, um, she told me, she said, you know, I think that's cystic acne. And I was like, cystic acne. And then I remembered, like, back when um, I was diagnosed with the PCOS, the doctor saying something about it. But I never really give it much thought. You know, I never really thought anything about it, to be honest. And then, so I started researching it. And for sure, that's what this is. It's where the oil gets trapped underneath the skin, um, and it pretty much can't come out, and it m makes these large, raised, inflamed, pretty much bumps that never come to a head to pop. Every now and then they do, and um, they hurt. So, that's what it is. So now that I know what it is, and supposedly it's like the hardest, one of the hardest acnes to treat, which is like, oh, great, awesome. That's That had to be the one that I had, you know. So it's kind of like, okay, well, that Cetaphil, things that I read on it, you're not supposed to use that or you shouldn't use that. It's not recommended that you use that because um, it can be really, really drying, which can irritate it. So, and it's really not going to do anything. So now I'm kind of like on the hunt for something else. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, if you're battling with this too, no, you're not alone. I mean, know that. I have it, and even though, you know, Dale keeps saying, like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. To me, I don't feel it's okay because then I start to, like, get upset and I start to panic because it's, like, it's right here, and then I see it kind of spreading over here to this side and then up here, and then I get um, where it spreads on my neck right here, and then it even starts going around here. When you have it there, you don't want to wear your hair in a ponytail, etc. So, I mean, he does understand why it's frustrating for me. But I want you guys to understand why it's frustrating for me. But I'm not going to bore you all day about this. But I'm going to finish washing my face and letting it dry and stuff. And um, keep trying to do a little bit of research on that. But after your workout, definitely wash your face. Because you have all that sweat and that dirt and just, ugh, you need to clean that stuff out. Clean it off. Holy moly. Okay, so I just finished editing um, the video I did with Preston Saturday. Hence why I'm in here, bud. Hence why our vlog was kind of short Saturday um, because I was making a video with him and uh, after we got finished working out and all that stuff. Anyways, so I just finished editing that video. If you have not already seen it, check it out. Um, it, I, I was supposed to paint Dell up as the Joker. Well, Dell kind of sort of got busy with other stuff and didn't really, I don't know, I guess have the want to do it anymore. And so I was kind of like, well, what am I supposed to do now? Like I could have painted myself up as the Joker, but I don't know. I kind of figured like maybe one of the kids would enjoy being painted up for the day. So I asked, uh, with the twins, I said, can one of you guys help me out with a video? And they said, yeah. And I said, okay, when do you guys come here? And it happened to be Preston that got back there. Daniel was a little upset, but I'll paint him up um, for another video. I don't know. I have I have a couple more that I've, like, kind of working on in my brain there, kind of spinning the wheels. I'm like, oh, this will be good. I think a lot of people that see the video, like, some people are going to, I have, like, 50-50. I have some people that are going to be like, oh, that's great. That's good. And then I have other people that are going to be like, whatever. Like, oh, my gosh. Like. 
my my little like Halloween costume videos, like the Harley Quinn and then like him and the couple other ones, these are like low budget costumes because not everybody in the world has the money to go out and purchase all this crap for one day. For one day or for like a video and you don't even dress up. I mean, you use it for the video and then you like shove it in your closet. Yeah. So to, to me, it's like, you know, I'm trying to keep it real and say, hey, you can achieve pretty cool looking costumes with like minimal, you know, supplies. So some people, like I said, some people are going to like it. Some people are not. But uh, I do want to say a big shout out to Preston for letting me paint his face up and put green in his hair. And yeah. Had him walk around and pose for like 15 man pictures for that. But, you know, as I do want to say, a shout out to him. And I just realized my wedding ring I took off when I was exercising. Anyways, but I got busy editing that. Looked up and I was like, holy chulupa, it's 1140. I got to get something for lunch, feed this kid, and I got to start picking up stuff around the house and decide dinner. Because I've been in, well, suicide squad land or whatever. But, anyways, if you guys have not checked out that video, check it out. And if you want to share it with your friends, in case they're kids, teenagers, whatever, preteens, whoever, or even adults want to do it and they want to keep stuff, you know, like cost low, share that with them. I think they'll get a kick out of it, too. Yeah, his teeth are yellow. He didn't brush his teeth very well, did he? <laughs> yeah, too late to brush those puppies. My goodness. He enjoys playing with Play-Doh, just like Brody. I don't exactly like Play-Doh. I never have really enjoyed Play-Doh, but, you know. You gotta let him live once or twice. You know what I'm saying? They like it, though. I think you're supposed to make his little teeth in this little thing. You put him the Play-Doh in there, and then you shut this like that, and then you open it up, and it looks like teeth. I could use one of these in real life. <laughs> Me. Buddy. Yeah, put it in there. Because his teeth are looking funky. Funky, funky. Oh. He should have brushed those better, huh? Oh, yeah, good job. I don't know why he's just doing the yellow, but hey, whatever works. Okay, now close it up. Did it work? Yeah. Okay, open it up. Some weird teeth, but teeth! <laughs> teeth! It's not like a tooth fairy. Teeth! <laughs> yeah. I guess sometimes you gotta take a break from washing your dishes to come play Play Doh with your kid. <laughs> oh well. This tooth is crazy. Oh. Yeah, that's not a very good. Alright, I'll put his teeth back. <laughs> He's got some damage done on this side. It's bad damage. <laughs> oh, bless you, baby. Pity. No, bless you. Hey. <laughs> why? Why do you men do this? Okay, just why? Tell me why. Just somebody, please. Okay, so I come in here to put my laundry, because I normally do my laundry on Mondays. I come in here to put my laundry in my basket, and I looked at the kids' basket, and I thought, there's not a lot of laundry in there. I'm doing pretty good. I'm not as behind schedule as I thought. And then I was like, wait a minute. Didn't they have, like, a huge basket of laundry Sunday, which was yesterday? Yeah, because I was sitting there thinking, like, they're going to need clothes for tomorrow. Well, obviously, Dale put them in the wash and forgot to tell me. And I come in here just, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to check. They're still in the washing machine. So, yeah, now I have to put them in the dryer. Yeah, great, obviously. When you put the clothes in the wash... Tell the woman that you did, or they will sit there, and then they'll be molded, and then you gotta rewash them. It goes through the same task again. It's about time I start teaching these kids, though, how to do their own laundry. Because, ugh, they don't understand washing laundry is difficult. But I would just like to know why you men, or how you men, expect us women to know that there's laundry in the wash. I mean, we don't just walk around, like, checking everything. Trust me. I think, I think Del thinks I do that. I just walk around, like checking everything like the dishwasher the sink the fridge the juice cereal i don't i really don't but oh well at least they're washed that's one step closer right and they still smell decent so that's good he must have put them in this morning 
yeah, it must have been this morning because I don't stink. So, good thing. Well, all I have to do now is throw them in the dryer and then the kids can fold them when they get home. And then I can wash my laundry. So, I washed all my little throw blankets because they needed to be washed. Now I'm folding them, but um, when I was thinking about it, if you guys have a Dollar General and you're like me, you shop at Dollar General a lot. They have started putting out their Halloween and their fall stuff, but oh my gosh, the fall stuff this year is so stinking cute. And I don't buy a lot of it because I always look at it and I'm like, I could make that for cheaper. Like, I'm not paying, you know, like no $5 for a jar with some fake flowers in there when I have mason jars that I could paint and stick flowers in, but I always forget. Um, but anyways, they have these cute little like plaid uh, throw blankets, adorable. And then like these little pumpkins and just like, Anything and everything fall. I love when it becomes fall. The leaves are changing, all of that. And then I love to change the scents out in my wax warmers to like, you know, coffee things. Um, I did have one one time that it was a pumpkin spice, but I forgot the brand and it smelled okay, but I'm not, I'm not really wild about pumpkin, which is weird because I love looking at pumpkins and stuff like that, but I'm not really wild about pumpkin itself. So pumpkin, pump, pumpkin. Is that how you guys say it? Pumpkin? Here it's like pumpkin. But, you know, like, come here, pumpkin. But, um, anyways, but, oh my gosh, they have, like, the cutest stuff out. And it is so hard not to buy stuff because I'm still, like, you know, okay, we're going to the beach, we're going to the beach, we're going to the beach. Oh, it is so hard not to get stuff. But I am ready to get, like, fall decorations put up already. And I know some people are like, you're rushing it, you're rushing it. No, I'm just, I'm kind of over the heat wave, and it is cooling off um, a good bit, but I just, I don't know. I love fall. I love Halloween. I love Christmas. I love all of that, and I love decorating. That is like, I don't know. It's just, it's therapy to me. I love to decorate. So, I'm going to, here soon, I'm not going to say before I go to the beach, but at least when I get back from the beach I'm gonna try to find some like cute DIY like fall decorations and stuff because I like doing that every year um, I did see this one picture and it was of this turkey made out of like old uh, recycled pallet wood it was so cute I was like that would be adorable at my front yard above my front door just like oh, so cute but yeah I love just decorations and decor and stuff like that and then they're starting to put it out so it's kind of like you know in your mind, I mean, you have to think about it, obviously, but I don't know. If I bought another one of those blankets, Dale would shoot me, so I must stay away from those. I must. But there is, you remember your, um, last year, if you guys have been with me that long, I was talking about, um, like, covers for your pillows to go from, like, say, one season to another. I've come up with a great idea for that, so I have to, I have to get some of those cheap little, like, throw blankets for that DIY so yeah so if you guys see some grab some because we're gonna do a DIY in like a couple of weeks to a month so go ahead and just start gathering your supplies okay gather those little throw blankets they're like two or three dollars mark down gather them okay for you wanting to know about the blue on my fingernails and yes I did put my ring back on I actually found totally off subject I'm everywhere today okay it's Monday anyways um I have been wearing just this little piece let me show you this little middle piece right here uh, of my wedding ring. This is my first uh, wedding ring set. This is the one that Dell proposed to me with and uh, we got married and I had it for a couple of years and then he bought me a, a little bit bigger set um, mainly because this one had gotten too tight. I just, I could not, wear, I couldn't wear my rings. I just, I'd gained so much weight that my fingers and hands had just swollen up so much that I couldn't wear it and it was really, really sad and heartbreaking because I couldn't wear it. So, anyways, I'd been wearing just the little middle piece uh, here. Hopefully you guys can see there. Focus. It's probably not going to focus here. Okay, that's better. But anyways, I had been wearing the, the middle one, which is the gold one. And um, I hadn't been able to fit the whole set together in quite a while. I mean, it's been... It's been a little while, so um, I'd actually put the top set, which are the silver pieces, it goes, it connects together. So you take out that uh, pe that middle piece right there, and it slides down into the uh, two there. I've been able to wear it, and when I was looking Saturday 
for the little jewelry for Dale um, to mess with. Anyways, I found it and I put it back together and I can actually wear it. Other than my hands keep swelling um, because of the heat and stuff and it kind of gets tight and I have to move it around. But anyways, for the nail polish, back to that. <laughs> okay. So just so you guys know, I didn't get um, a new ring or a different ring. This is the one that I had that he asked me to marry him with and we got married with and I had for a couple years. But Anyways, I the nail polish that I have on my nails, I'm wearing the uh, Wet n Wild uh, Fast Dry. And I must say, for like $2 nail polish, I absolutely love these. I mean, for one, the color, I mean, hello, the color payoff is amazeballs. For two, it lasts a pretty good while because it is just now starting to like chip. If you guys can see right there. It's just now starting to chip and it's Monday and I've had it on all weekend and done all kinds of crazy stuff, wanna games, everything. And I put uh, this pink gel coat, uh, perfect formula, um, like clear coat on the top of it after I painted them, after I let them dry and everything, I put that on there. And I must say, it's 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 wearing pretty good. I really, really like um, these nail polishes. I have a couple more. I really hope that they come out with some darker colors for um, like winter and well, fall and winter and stuff. Because I mean, these are beautiful and the ones that I have, like um, they're kind of peach, I like purple. They do have a couple of darker ones, but I don't, I want like maybe some browns, maybe an orange, just something like that. Um, maybe like a burnt orange. Maybe like a maroon or something. I think if they came out with those, I would like for sure buy them. But for $2, you cannot go wrong with this. Um, the formula is really, really nice. I mean, it, it applies really, really nicely to your nails. I mean, seriously, you cannot go wrong. So, yeah, this is what I've been wearing. I have it on my toenails. Ooh, there we go, as well. And they have not chipped. My nails are, like I said, now just starting to chip. But I've had them painted, let's see, at least four days five days maybe so really nice though I really like it but that is what I'm wearing on my nails it's crazy how your good day can just all of a sudden take a turn for the worst have the worst dang headache ever Tylenol not working I drank I've been drinking a lot of water but man it's like right here it's just like this piece right here. I just wish I could just like take it out like a card. It hurts. I've been like laying down trying to rest. Close my eyes. Riley took a nap. And then I got up and edited my Ipsy Glam Bag video. And laid back down. And then I got up. Did a few little things around the house. Grabbed some stuff up for dinner. The kids came home. Had to help them with homework and stuff. And then Dale came home pretty early. And... He's outside right now messing with his fuel pump for his car because that finally arrived in the mail. So I hope he gets that put on by this week. I mean, no rush. Uh, he's still using my vehicle, but it just came in the mail. So um, I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take him um, because he'll have to do it after work. And of course, Wednesday will be busy. Um, but I have faith in him. But he doesn't like to start a project and not be able to finish it. You know, it's something like that. You really just can't like just keep your stuff out you know what I mean once you start that project you have to finish it so my thought is he'll probably do it this weekend and it'll be on there and um, hopefully that's the only issue that's wrong with this car and then next week he can start driving his again um, which I mean no no problem really it's not like I'm going anywhere uh, tomorrow I will have to take him to work though because um, I will have to go to town run a couple errands go look for some stuff for this um, do a couple things, but yeah, but other than that, other than that, other than that, um, nothing, nothing this week. So, Daniel, you're not feeling good, bud? What's wrong, bud? I got a headache. You too? Well, great. <laughs> Headaches, but anyways, I'm gonna try to lay here for a little bit longer and watch Sherlock Holmes and, um, Hopefully that Tylenol will kick in and just, and then I'll make some dinner. We're just going to have some pasta, which ugh. I'm trying to tell myself now you're not going to eat a big portion of pasta, but something inside me says you're probably going to tear up a plate of pasta, but 
I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try to do my best. I'm gonna put just a small portion on my little bowl plate thing. I really, I keep seeing this commercial for Olive Garden and they're showing like pasta and these breadsticks and I really want those breadsticks. I don't have any. <laughs> Weston and Remy are helping him with his car. Handing him tools, you know. <laughs> Doing what cats Stop. do. I'm losing my stuff, eating it. Stop! Are they eating it? <laughs> crazy. Okay, well maybe Here. they're not helping. Here, put these up there. Uh. Reach. Dear Lord, thank you for this day of health and energy. All the food you yeah. have given us. Make sure we're safe that wherever we go and those people that are sick be healed and that the Staten family keeps helping others. In Jesus' name I pray. with the people in Louisiana in their time of need. We thank you for everything you do for us, Lord. We ask that you help us all to get along better on this earth to love one another more, and to take up our crosses more, to do more for our neighbors, to be more Christ-like, and to help bring you into the lives of those that don't know you and that possibly need you, Lord. Bring comfort to those that are suffering somehow right now. And we ask that you give us your guidance in all things that we do, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, here's my dinner in my fancy Dollar Tree bowl, but those things are awesome. I had to make some homemade croutons because I didn't have any, so yeah, that's stunk, but that's okay though. They're pretty good. So I am oh. eating ground turkey. This is not ground beef, it's ground turkey. We had this, uh, we had some, what was it, in burgers? What else do we have the ground turkey in the other night that was really good? Was it tacos? Anyway, it was really good. We used to eat ground turkey all the time, but that was like, it was way cheaper yeah, back in the day. Eat, now it's the same price. Yeah. It's the same price as hamburger meat. Yeah. So, anyways, we've started incorporating ground turkey into our meals. So, yeah. But, uh, anyways, we just have a little salad to go with it. There's no taste difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's still good, but. Same Anyways, just and healthier for you, and it has like no hormones, no uh, what is it, antibiotics, artificial wow. growth hormone, yeah, yeah, a bunch steroids. of steroids, yeah, no steroids, so it's supposed to be um, pretty good stuff. The one that I got, anyways, but that is our dinner. Everybody seems to be enjoying it a lot. Everybody loves pasta, so yeah, it's pretty good. But anyways, I'm gonna go in and eat my dinner.